Have you ever tried to pinpoint a sound by listening? What if I told you that you didn't really know what you were listening for or how long it would take you to find it? Would you still be up for the challenge? This is a real issue that surgeons face every day when using microelectrode recording. Microelectrode recordings are used when placing stimulation electrodes into deep brain structures. These structures are used to reduce the symptoms of movement disorders such as Parkinson's, dystonia, and a central tremor. Approximately 1 million people in the U.S. have Parkinson's, and 60,000 new cases have been diagnosed this year. This disease causes debilitating tremors in the limbs, making everyday activities nearly impossible. Prescription medication is usually the first line of defense against such diseases, but more often than not, it's not enough. Physicians have begun using deep brain stimulation, or DBS, to help minimize or erase tremor without the use of prescription medication. DBS technology is still relatively new, and the process used to treat patients is far from perfect. This is where Eureka comes in. Let me take you back to the beginning when I asked you to pinpoint a specific sound. Now imagine the sound you are hearing is being emitted from a structure deep in the brain. It is absolutely crucial to pinpoint this sound exactly to give the patient the best results. Now I'm going to show you how Eureka can be used to assist surgeons in finding the exact locations in the brain to relieve their movement disorder symptoms. To use Eureka, the first step is to attach an accelerometer to the patient's limb that exhibits a tremor. Open the Eureka software and initiate the accelerometer recording. The software will begin recording tremor data. The Eureka software then produces a frequency plot where the surgeon can choose the correct frequency of the tremor. The next step is to use the microelectrode to record frequency of the deep brain structures. Eureka will produce another frequency plot in which the surgeon will choose the correct frequency. Eureka will then take the two chosen frequencies and compare them. If the two frequencies are within tolerance, then the program will display a match has been found. If the software displays a match has not been found, the surgeon will be prompted to move the microelectrode to a new position. The Eureka software has been validated using real tremor data pulled from PhysioNet. The Eureka team calculated the clinical tremor by hand and then ran Eureka to confirm the results. Eureka was able to match the hand calculations confirming the software is valid. To move forward with Eureka, more verification testing is needed using microelectrode data. Obtaining both accelerometer and microelectrode recordings will help ensure Eureka can properly compare two sets of data. Eureka takes the guesswork out of placing deep brain electrodes while simultaneously matching muscle tremors to tremor cells in the brain. This solution, when used in conjunction with imaging, will ensure patients are getting the best brain stimulation possible.